it's time for another IT certification review. This is Certified in Cybersecurity by ISC Squared. This is an entry-level cybersecurity certification. Now, I can really tell the big difference between the associate and entry-level exams. And when I say entry-level, this is below associate or junior level. I would assume entry or technician level is just 40 to 60% of associate level. I say this because I compare the coverage of Security Plus. Yeah, I'm preparing for these certifications as well. It's not because I needed to take all of these certifications. It's because I want to create a content and I can share the details to you guys. Yeah, that's the level of my dedication. I spend time and effort not just researching what's the best certification out there. I'm also taking this certification, not for me, but for you guys. So the reason why is so we can assess the quality of these certifications. If it's really worth the time preparing and taking these exams. Anyway, this certified in cybersecurity by ISC squared. I already had a dedicated video, how to avail the free training and the free exam. Yes, it's still free. The question is, is it worth taking it? For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am career certification captain. Now on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, three vein tutorials in cybersecurity, three vein tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. I'm not gonna talk about this certification. Again, there is already a dedicated video, so check that out. We're gonna focus more on my actual experience. Okay, so this is an entry level, super beginner level exam. I was expecting that I will pass this certification with a minimal effort. And uh, that's what I did. I spent like four to five hours preparing and I took the exam the next day. Actually, it was just seven to eight hours difference. So this is what I did. I accessed the free training, the free course material. And the first part was, it was an exam assessment. Yeah, exam assessment was 75 questions. And from the result, you would know the level of your knowledge. You will have an idea if you will pass the exam or not. So I took the assessment exam and I only got 76%. 70% by the way was the passing mark. And for me, that was a little low as some of the terminologies, mm, it's a bit different, I would say. Um, kind of confuses me a little. So what I did was I spent watching domain one and two videos. They talk about security controls, physical security, law standards, governance, uh, incident response, business continuity, DR, etc. You know, uh, this very basic concepts very basic terminologies, but sometimes it confuses you. That's why I need to rewatch the videos and understand the concepts, specifically their terminologies that they used. And you know, I already know this. It's not only that I'm preparing for CompTIA Security Plus, I'm also preparing for ISACA CISA, stands for Certified Information System Auditor. These three exams, Certified in Cybersecurity, Security Plus, and CISA, they're all connected to each other. The good thing is, this one, Certified in Cybersecurity, is just an entry level exam. Security Plus is an associate level, and CISA is a mid slash professional level, but focuses more on auditing. Well, it doesn't matter. Point is, if you are preparing for Security Plus and or CISA or even SSCP, which is the counterpart of Security Plus, both are associate, 
excuse me, both are associate slash junior level. Consider certified in cybersecurity as your mock exam. It's just 100 questions, multiple choice, and the length is two hours. Maybe you are wondering, is the exam easy? If I'm going to compare this to other entry level exam, such as AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and F5 101 Application Delivery Fundamentals, yes, this exam is easier. Definitely. The questions are pretty straightforward. Options are like super obvious. It's not because I have over 20 years of experience in the IT industry and I'm also an IT instructor. No, I'm comparing the level of difficulty of AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and F5 101 Application Delivery Fundamentals exams. Both are not, again, I'm going to highlight this, both are not associate level. Both are below associate level and they are both entry level exams. So I passed the exams with just four to five hours preparation. And I think I would pass it even if I didn't prepare. The funny thing was I took it 8.30 in the morning at Pearson VU East Center and I had to rush. I had to finish it in just 40 minutes as I need to attend a meeting at 10 in the morning. And I still need to drive, you know? Anyway, uh, many questions. In a snap, I already know the answer. It's very rare it happened in AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and F5 101 Application Delivery exams. I find the exam easy. It's not because I'm a veteran. I find it easy because I compared it with AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner and F5 101 exams. I don't think I can finish either exams in just 40 minutes. For those who are just new to IT and or cybersecurity, here's my advice. Just take the exam. It's just free anyway. And I guarantee you will learn many things. Yeah, for sure. The exam is more like definition of terms. It's like what we did in high school, that kind of level. Let me add something more. The main three is access controls. I think this is the shortest domains among all of the domain discussion. I just took the exam at the end of the section and guess what? I got 90%. Next is domain four is network security and I didn't need to review this domain, if you know what I mean. The exam questions from this domain are not so technical at all. The course and the coverage didn't go down deep and didn't go to the details of system and network concepts. There was no operating system discussion, no Linux, no subnets, no routing, no IP addressing concepts, no nothing. Again, it's like definition of terms. Same with the security operations on domain five. They ask like, what is worm? What is Trojan? What is DOS? What is man in the middle? Those kind of things. For a super beginner level, we know it's not enough, but I still, I still don't think it's a bad idea at all. This certification, I think it also fits well. Let's say you are a project manager maybe project manager for application developer, project manager for network, and you're shifting to cybersecurity project manager. Yeah, this will work. Same with sales, marketing, and even human resources. And let's say you want to understand cybersecurity concepts, not a bad idea in taking this exam at all. Now, let's make a verdict. It's time to rate this certification first exam content i would give this 3.5 because it's super elementary the content is like grade school or high school material it's not so bad it's just lacking basic fundamentals but the good thing is 
it will give you a momentum to go for CompTIA Security Plus or SSCP. Stands for System Security Certified Practitioner, also from IS Squared, or even ISACA CISA or Certified Information System Auditor. Next is relevance to current technology. If we're just talking about relevance here, yeah, I will give it four. I'm not giving perfect five, as some concepts are just too old and not 100% relevant to the current technology. What else? Ah, yeah. They also skipped a lot of basics, which is quite significant in understanding cybersecurity. Next, value for money. This one, I will give it five because it's free. Again, it's a good mock exam if you're preparing for CompTIA Security Plus, SSCP, and CISA. If you are already got the certifications or even greater vendor neutral certifications such as CISSP, CISM, or you are already an, ex an experienced security professional, you don't need to take this certification exam. Not worth your time and effort. Next, market demand. I'll give this four because this is new. Recruiters and hiring managers still not looking for the certification at all. They're giving you points if you put this in your resume, even just very minimal. Um, the good thing is this certification is from ISC Squared. There is already a brand name from this organization. Do you agree with my ratings? <laughs>